the thing that I'm most excited about tonight is to be here with the rock star, uh, Dr. Sylvia Earle. It is an absolute privilege to be in the same room as you this evening. Fear is largely derived from what you don't know. And how do you get to know the ocean? <laughs> Dive in. She really brought it back to why we do what we do. It was inspirational, but it was also kind of a slap in the face, like we aren't doing good enough. All forms of life have a place, and we have this attitude, what good are they? Can I eat it? Can I sell it? If I can't, it's just something you crush in your actions. You just ignore it. Unless you're a little kid is curious and has an empathy for life. We are so self-centered. But on the other hand, whales are not trying to protect us. We are protecting them. I forgot why I started doing this work. So yeah, she reminded me of that. So that was brilliant. But now we have 8 billion people and Earth is the same size. We have to be mindful of the mark we're making on the systems that keep us alive. What we do or what we fail to do, and it's kind of right about now, gives us either the best chance to have an enduring future or we will be that generation that missed the opportunity. It's just so amazing to see that she has her hope and optimism intact. We have the ability to empathize with other creatures. It's what gives me hope because it's in our nature to be able to see through the eyes of others. I think if we can make one transformative movement in the 21st century, it's to gain a greater respect for caring, for life, for all of life.